all right so in case if you are preparing for gate exam with an intention to get top rank so that you can target some psus for the job or to get into barc or to get into some top iits with the help of this gate score in that case i'm going to talk about some of the topics or some of the things which you should take care which can help you to fetch this top rank or which can help you to get this high rank in this particular gate exam all right so i'm going to talk about five such things which can actually help you to get through this particular exam with a good score with a good rank uh, with a good gate score all right so the first thing which i'm going to tell you is to about the syllabus okay now gate has a vast syllabus and for any competitive exam it's not possible to cover each and everything it is not possible to cover complete syllabus especially when i talk about chemistry part we have three parts like organic chemistry is there inorganic chemistry is there physical chemistry is there and it is not possible for someone to be uh, like best in all the three right uh, many people think that okay for csr net i have done two let's say organic and inorganic or physical and inorganic that will be sufficient for gate also see it is fine if you are just uh, like you are just giving this exam to qualify it okay uh, to get any random rank or uh, not the top ones okay in that case if you go with any two of them it's fine it's like you will get decent rank with that but if you are targeting top ranks in case if you are targeting the best of like top 100 or under 50 rank in that case you have to cover the syllabus and it's not like you have to cover the complete syllabus but you should be at least above average in most of the things right let's say if you are good at organic and inorganic in that case in the physical chemistry you have to be above average or at least you should be average in that okay you cannot ignore physical chemistry completely you have to cover at least 50 to 60 percent of physical chemistry as well so it is like you don't have to cover 100 percent of everything but if you are good at two things be the best one in those two and in the third one be average or above average of that okay in that way you can like you can think of because see in the gate exam you don't have options you have to do every question like you don't have choices over there among the questions okay which you get in csi net exam so that thing is not in the gate exam uh whatever the number of questions are there you have to do every question over there and uh like if you are not going to do physical chemistry or if you are not doing organic chemistry or any one of them in that case you are basically removing or you are just decreasing the number of questions which are going to attempt in the exam so the first thing is to attempt maximum number of questions or to or to go with the maximum number of questions and that you can only do when you are going to study or when you are going to clear the concepts of them okay so because this is the right time where you are actually preparing for the exam you have enough time for it so you can do that that's why i'm, I'm including this point the first point is very clear that you have to actually include all the three i would say uh, at least the third one you have to be average or above average in it and the two others in which you are already good you have to be best in those okay so that's the first thing which you have to do second thing which you have to do is you have to practice questions see whenever we talk about any competitive exam be it csr net be it gate be it iit jam be it uh, any like tifr geoscientist any exam you have to practice questions that is that is you can understand like you can say it as the baseline of it okay so the the basic thing which you have to do along with covering the syllabus is to solve questions to practice questions because the more number of questions you practice the more you understand the language of examiner or the language of the exam that what type of and how the questions are being put up in the front in front of you sometimes it's like we all know john teller distortion we all have studied john teller distortion but the way it is uh, asked in the exam or the way it is put up in the exam it makes it difficult to analyze for the student and they do mistake over there so that should not happen with you and that will not happen when you will practice question and especially for gate exam you have three types of questions you have um, mcqs where you have one option correct out of the four then you have msqs which are multiple selective question where more than one options can be correct then you have numerical answer type question although you don't have negative marking in numerical answer type question and in msqs also you only have negative marking in mcqs but that does not mean that you don't have to focus on msqs and mcqs okay oh, sorry M msqs and nats so uh, a top ranker a high ranker a good gate scorer always uh, like pays attention on these nats as well. so in case if you are not practicing numerical answer type questions see numerical answer type questions are more trickier because you don't have option over there you have to solve correctly you have to you know do the calculation correctly so that you end up getting the answer within the range or within the correct range of the question so and that's where it becomes tricky for 
students if you will do it correctly or if you will practice it properly in that case it will become easy for you to approach in the exam as well so that's why practicing questions becomes very very important the more you practice the more better you become and the less mistakes you are going to make in the exam and this is where the third thing comes that is you have to avoid doing negative marking you have to avoid doing mistakes see if two people in the gate score or in the gate rank this is how the gate is uh, the rank is decided let's say there are two people who have done equal amount of like who are getting the equal amount of score let's say the one is getting let's say 45 marks and the other one is also getting 45 marks but the one who has done less negative marking over there let's say the one who has done 45 marks he has done he has attempted for 50 marks and he has got five negative mark and then his marks or his score became 45 and the other one has scored or he has attempted attempted for 60 marks and he has done more negative marking and after that negative marking his score became 45 so he is minus 15 he has got so his rank will be lower as compared to this person because although both of them are getting same score same uh, like marks 45 marks but because this person has done less mistake that's why his rank will be higher so every 0.5 marks also plays very important role in the in the ranking so in case if you are targeting top rank you cannot uh, like you cannot uh, ignore the fact that you have to avoid doing negative mis uh, marks or you have to avoid doing mistakes and again these mistakes are related to practice the more you practice the less mistakes you are going to make in the exam and this mistake is as i said it is related to practice one more tip that when you are practicing uh, for the exam whenever you are practicing especially numericals always try to use gate calculator i will give you a link in the description how you can download the gate calculator so try to practice along with the gate calculator it, is, it will be very useful it will save a lot of time in the exam also you will be familiar with the interface of the gate calculator and it will be easy for you to do in the exam so this is the third thing which you have to do the fourth and the most important thing i would say which people generally ignore is aptitude part See, the exam consists of uh, like 85 marks chemistry and 15 marks aptitude and when you are planning to get top rank or when you are planning to get good score in the gate in that case you cannot avoid aptitude part you cannot ignore aptitude part because aptitude part is also going to give you 15 marks and uh, you have to practice that as well now uh, you don't have to basically focus it on the basis of some book or you don't have to refer some book for aptitude part so if you just do previous few years previous 10 years of aptitude in that case you will be able to understand that what type of questions are asked and in gate aptitude the best thing is that you will be getting at least two to three questions from english grammar as well so most of you if you are good at english you will be able to answer those questions as well so you cannot avoid this aptitude part this is the fourth thing which you have to do all right so focus on aptitude part also when you are preparing when you are solving questions try to do at least five aptitude questions daily this will give you a good you know a good practice of question last and the most important thing is how much time you are devoting for your preparation now see we are right now at the end of uh, october we have november december january just three months for the next gate exam in these three months everybody is having limited time 24 hours daily but it all is going to make difference that how you are utilizing these 24 hours there will be people who will be like chatting around the whole day who will be there on social media whole day who will be just you know scrolling instagram and different social media whole day and there will be people who will be focused on their studies who will be preparing for the exam who will be devoting most of the time for their preparation and you can see the difference in their ranks and if you will see the interviews of people who have scored good or who have got good rank in gate they will always they will never tell you that they have just studied one hour daily and they got this good rank that does not happen every good thing or every great success comes with a lot of effort lot of hard work so you cannot avoid doing hard work or you cannot you know uh, you cannot escape from the hard work you have to do the hard work yes smart work is there but hard works always pays off and you have to do that to maximize the number of time which you are prepared which you are giving for your preparation let's say earlier you were just preparing for one hour daily now try to increase that okay give four years four hours five hours for your preparation okay even if you have more time with this please try to devote that in your preparation and uh, with that time i'm not talking about that coaching time or whatever if you are taking any online classes or anything excluding that it should be your uh, like self-study time 
सेल्फ स्टडी इज द टाइम वेयर एक्चुअली द टाइम काउंट दैट हाउ मच यू आर लर्निंग बिकॉज वेन यू आर वॉचिंग समबडीज क्लास और वेन यू आर अटेंडिंग समबडीज क्लास एट दैट टाइम यू आर गेनिंग नॉलेज यू आर नॉट यू नो प्रोसेसिंग इट वेन यू आर डूइंग इट्स इन अ सेल्फ स्टडी मोड और वेन यू आर डूइंग सेल्फ स्टडी एट दैट टाइम यू आर प्रोसेसिंग वॉट एवर यू हैव स्टडीड तो काउंट द आर्स विच यू हैव डिवोटेड इन द सेल्फ स्टडी दैट विल बी द टाइम विच आई एम एक्चुअली टॉकिंग अबाउट सो दैट यू हैव टू डू दैट यू हैव टू मैक्सिमाइज you have to give more time for your preparation you have to increase the number of time all right so these are few things which you have to do now uh, you have to start like when you have started your preparation there are few more things like test series and all uh, test series also you have to do but that you have to not you should not do right now uh, this is let's say end of october uh, start giving test series after december after mid of december at that time you will be having a lot of test series in the market so take any one of them and start giving it test series will give you uh in like it will give you uh you know exam like experience it will give you what type of question or in how to manage time in the exam the best and the most important thing from the test series is how to manage time regarding test series i will discuss in a separate video i'll make a di different video that how exactly you can use test series to amplify your preparation or to to get a better rank for the gate exam but for now uh, since you are in the preparation stage so these are the few things which i wanted to discuss in case if you have uh, like, you know if you have that target of getting some uh, good rank in gate exam some top rank in gate exam these are the some points which you should uh, you know uh, consider while your preparation while preparing for it uh, in case if you want to add something you can add that in the comment section below you are most welcome for that if you have any question you want to ask anything that is also welcome in the comment section below that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much